guys, this is Haley from MonoRabbits.com and in today's video, I am going to be doing a long awaited video and that is reviewing your rabbit's habitats. So I posted on my Instagram with a little story and I just asked people to send me some emails with pictures of their rabbit's habitats and just some general information and I have some photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through a couple of the emails. Obviously I could not do them all because I got <laughs> too many emails to fit in one video, but I'm gonna review a couple, go over them and just kind of like share advice on what I would do to improve your rabbit's habitat. Uh, I wanna make a disclaimer that I am not like trying to be mean or anything to anyone. Uh, I have done everything wrong possible with rabbit care in my life. Um, obviously everyone learns, everyone grows, and there was a time where my rabbit habitats looked awful. So just because I am advising someone to change something does not mean that I think you're a bad person or anything. Um, I'm just simply giving advice because I know some people really appreciate it and some people may not know. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> so the first habitat I'm reviewing is one by Loki and Loxy. That's, I think that's how you pronounce the rabbit's names. It's a four by six pen that they use as their home base. Uh, they are free roaming, I think in her bedroom during the day, but then at night, I think they're in this pen. So first of all, I think the pen overall looks really great. I think it's super cute. I love the fleas and the colors. First thing I noticed that I think I would personally change is the litter box. Especially with two bunnies, you wanna make sure you have very large litter boxes and in my opinion I like to have at least two litter boxes with two bunnies uh, just because rabbits can be a little bit territorial over litter boxes um, even if you don't really notice it rabbits a lot of the times like to be the only one in the litter box at one time like even with my bunnies they share litter boxes all the time but from time to time one of the rabbits will kind of like push the other rabbit out. Um, and in my case, I have two litter boxes, so they just jump to the next one. Um, so I do highly recommend two litter boxes with two bunnies. And I also recommend very large litter boxes. So good news is that uh, the litter boxes that I use are super cheap. You can just go to Walmart and buy a storage bin. The ones that I use, they are pretty large. I think they're like 18 inches by like 30 inches or something. Um, those are the ones that I personally prefer and I use two of those for my two bunnies um, and they really really like them um, Since you, they are in a pen and you know, it probably wouldn't fit two side by side like I have You could maybe put it in a L shape. So put like one litter box Facing this way and then the other one facing down, you know, it doesn't take up a ton of space That's really the main thing I would change about the setup um, The other thing is maybe add a little bit more willow toys my bunnies just love willow so much and i do know they chew through it really fast and i do see you have a willow teepee so that's great um but maybe like some little willow balls willow rings something like that my bunnies just really like those so thought i would throw that recommendation in there i do have a bunch of rabbit toys on my online shop if you're interested my bunnies love all the willow off of my shop so that's just a recommendation but otherwise you uh, your rabbit setup looks great and yeah, that's all I have really to say. <laughs> so this next setup is a 4x4x pen and her Instagram is Maisie the Little Bunny. Uh, she did mention that the rabbit is too young to be spayed and it also is young and so it still does eat pellets, which is why there's pellets in the cage. Um, obviously, I don't personally recommend feeding pellets to adult bunnies, and if you wanna learn more about that, I have a video all about rabbit diets that you guys can check out if you're interested. But because she's not spayed, she also said uh, she can't be bonded. Obviously, you can't bond a rabbit until they're spayed or neutered. So anyways, just thought I'd put that disclaimer out there. And her pen is super, super cute. She said it has a filter on it just because she took it from her Instagram. Um, you did mention that the bunny is really young, so uh, I don't know how she is with litter training or like chewing on things. I know sometimes baby bunnies can be like really destructive. Uh, if she's not destructive, I would recommend like maybe adding more flooring to the pen just because it looks like it's a tile flooring, although it might be linoleum, I'm not sure. Um, but it can be hard on a rabbit's hocks. Um, so in that case, I would add 
you know, maybe some foam mats with uh, fleece over the top or something. But if she is really destructive and likes to destroy things, uh, you can add other things in the meantime while she's in this destructive stage. Uh, like even just like a big piece of cardboard over the floor, rabbits can chew that and dig on it, but it also provides a little bit of cushion um, because there's like air in between cardboard. I don't know if you guys like looked at the side of a cardboard, um, but that allows a little bit of cushion for their hawks, which is really great. Also, if they're not great with litter training because they're young, uh, you can just throw it away if it gets dirty or whatever. Um, so that would be a recommendation. I do know earlier in, you know, this crazy time, they were spraying cardboard boxes in the mail with like chemicals to like kill germs. Um, so I would be cautious with using any cardboard that comes in through the mail um, during this time, just because sometimes, I don't know if this is still a thing. I kind of feel like it's not just cause we're kind of like getting out of it. But you know, just to be safe, I would probably like purchase any cardboard um, that you were gonna use that they could chew on just because you don't wanna risk, you know, it being sprayed with something toxic. I know like Walmart and like other places have like cardboard in their shipping sections that you can buy. So that could be a recommendation. Otherwise, any chewable mats, like the Timothy grass mat, I sell that on my shop. Um, we have seagrass mats, double woven seagrass mats, but like anything like that is also a really good material for rabbits who are super destructive, but also need like a better uh, flooring material. So that could be some options you could look into. And then it does look like your X pen is only two feet tall. And I do want to warn you, almost every rabbit can jump over a two foot tall X pen. So just for safety reasons, if you know, you have other pets in the home or you know, the room that this pen is in isn't bunny proofed, um, it would be a safety issue to only have a two foot tall X pen. So you would either want to put like a bed sheet on top and close pin it when you're not around just so that you know the rabbit doesn't jump out or you can purchase a three foot x pen uh, chewy has a lot of really cheap x pens uh, i got my like four foot x pens for i don't even know like 50 60 bucks which is pretty good for a four foot tall x pen um but most rabbits can get away with a three foot tall x pen unless you have a lot of things that they can jump on top of and then jump out um, I just have crazy jumpers, so I just buy the four foot ones. Another thing you could maybe look into in the future, she's probably still really young right now, um, but I would recommend obviously a larger litter box when she gets older, uh, like I recommended in the last video. Uh, she probably only needs one until she's bonded to another bunny. And then maybe a larger hidey house as well. Again, she might still be pretty little, so this one might be fine. Um, but in the future, I, I like to provide, you know, smaller hidey houses, but then also big ones, because I feel like rabbits like both. Um, so yeah, but other than that, I think your setup is super adorable and your rabbit is super cute. Um, so yeah, keep up the great work. So this next setup is for two bunnies. Their names are Sapphire and Opal. They were both recently spayed, which is why they're wearing uh, little cones on their heads because they need to protect their stitches. She said the room is split into two sections. Uh, their section is eight by 15 feet. And then there's another section that's about 15 by 15 feet that they go in uh, when she's at home and watching them. So in their main area, they have a nice big litter box, which I really like. Uh, it looks like she uses Carefresh. Uh, which is great, especially since they're recovering from a spay. If you find any issues with odor control or absorbency, I would add a very thin layer of horse stall pellets um, on the bottom of the Carefresh. In my opinion, it just really helps with absorbing pee and also absorbing the smell. And in my opinion, I like it better than just plain Carefresh. Um, but I would also maybe recommend adding another one of those really big litter boxes. Uh, like I mentioned for a previous one. So maybe just put two side by side. It looks like you could definitely fit that in this setup. Just because like I mentioned, sometimes rabbits do like their own space. And uh, even though a lot of the times they will share a litter box, there are certain times where rabbit, I've seen rabbits, you know, kick them out. Um, so it's nice to have another option right next door. Um, I don't know, my rabbits are just, they need their space sometimes. Um, so my rabbits really like that. The other thing I think would, that they would love is a really nice big hidey house, especially because you have two bunnies. Um, I like really large hidey houses so they can both share it if they want. Um, you'd also want more than one hidey house, especially because you have two bunnies. 
um, in case they like want to be that by themselves. So some options that you could try are either like the Maze Haven or the Mini Haven. Um, both of those my bunnies really enjoy. Uh, with the Maze Haven and the Mini Haven, it comes with like two separate ones. So you could have, you know, just buy one of those and you'd have two big hidey houses that are great. So that would be a really good option for a large hidey house. Obviously, you can use other materials for hidey houses as well. Uh, that's just an easy recommendation that I thought of. <laughs> um, and I do sell it on my shop if you guys are interested. It looks like they have some like willow toys, a bungalow full of hay and a memory foam mat to lay on. I would maybe recommend once you get your um, bigger hidey house to put the memory foam mats under their hidey houses um, because a lot of the times my rabbits at least really like to sleep in hidey houses. So then they have a nice comfortable area for their hawks while they're sleeping. Um, so that's what I would recommend. The only other thing maybe is if you can save up for it and if your rabbits aren't like super messy and destructive, you know, it's gonna depend on your bunny. I really enjoy indoor outdoor carpets uh, just so that it's not super slippery on their hocks or feet. <laughs> you can obviously use other carpets as well or you know foam puzzle mat, foam tiles, things like that. Um, but with those you have to cover them because you know you don't want the rabbits to eat the foam. But yeah, it depends on what you like. I personally like the indoor outdoor carpets. I buy them like the super cheap ones off of Wayfair. Um, and I just go on to Wayfair and I select the size that I want for an indoor outdoor carpet. And then I set the option to show me the least expensive first. And then I buy like the cheapest one on there. Um, I don't really like, you know, I'm not super picky with like the colors and stuff. Like the one I have in my room is pretty nice. It's brown, um, but it honestly wasn't my first pick, but I got a huge rug. It's like eight by 10 by eight or something. And it was only like $60, which is super cheap for a rug that huge. So obviously if you didn't get one that big, it would be a lot cheaper, um, but that's just a recommendation. Obviously you can use puzzle mats, um, other rugs, anything like that, just to like make it um, less, slippery on them, but again, it's gonna depend if your rabbits are destructive and if they chew that kind of thing. My rabbits are older, so they don't. You know, if they do chew that kind of thing, again, use the other suggestions I used previously, like cardboard, Timothy mats, seagrass mats, things like that. My shop will be linked above if you need some of those. But yeah, that's my recommendation. Otherwise, I think your rabbits are adorable and um, hopefully they heal from their spay very soon because I'm sure they do not enjoy the cones. So this next setup is a four foot by eight foot long uh, X pen setup and your bunny is super adorable. Let me just put that out there. So cute. She said that the rabbit uh, lives in this area, but he is free roam in her room from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So first of all, I think your setup is super cute, super adorable. Um, the main thing that I would do is get a larger litter box. It looks like the litter box is pretty small. Again, I like my nice big litter boxes. So uh, a storage tote, super cheap at Walmart. I mean, compared to like typical litter boxes, $15 maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, depending how big you get it. Uh, but yeah, storage tote would be really great. Uh, I would also recommend obviously getting a friend for your bunny. Um, rabbits are not solitary creatures. They are um, very social and need to interact with other rabbits of the same species. Um, and just human interaction does not replace another rabbit. I have a lot of videos on this if you're interested, but that would be one recommendation, obviously. <laughs> Although it does look like your rabbit may be younger, so that could be another reason why he isn't bonded yet. Um, I don't wanna make any assumptions. But the other thing would be to get uh, another nice big hidey house. Um, I see one of them in there only has one entrance and rabbits need hidey houses that at least have two different entrances. Otherwise, they don't feel safe inside of them. Um, and that can cause a lot of stress, you know, anxiety, things like that. Um, or simply they just won't use it. So I would recommend instead of the one hidey house that just has one entrance, I would replace that with, you know, either like a mini haven, something like that has multiple entrances. We have a lot of different hidey houses on my shop if you wanna check them out. Otherwise, you know, I'm sure there's DIY ones you can make as well. But that would be a suggestion. Um, other than that, I think you're doing really great. 
I think it's super adorable. I don't know why, it just looks like so matte. Like everything looks like it matches and it's super cute. So anyways, <laughs> really like your setup, you're doing a great job. So this next setup, I had to review it because she said her bunny's names were Belle and Sterling. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Sterling was bonded, my Sterling was bonded to another rabbit named Belle before she passed away. Um, she was an older bunny um, who didn't have the best life before I got her. Um, so I had to review it because they had the same names, but she says it's a nine by nine foot area and they're free roam in this area 24 seven. So it looks like it's um, like a spare bedroom or something that they're free roam in. She's got like little rugs on the floor, which are great for traction. I would say if you have an area that they really like to sleep in, I would recommend memory foam mats with like a fleece on top or, you know, I put the flat seagrass mats on top of mine sometimes. Anything like that, that's just really nice on their hocks in areas where they sleep and spend a lot of time in. That would be something I'd recommend. And maybe some willow toys. Again, my rabbits are insanely obsessed with willow toys and they don't last a while, so it's hard to keep up with them because they chew through them so fast. Um, but that would be a recommendation for some really nice chew toys. Um, I see you have a, like a little dog crate type thing or an X-Pen that has like a little second shelf in it. I think that's super cute. What I would do personally, since you don't have any really large hidey houses in here, I would like cover that area with like a blanket or something and make that into a really large hidey house for them. Make sure it has two entrances though. I'm not sure if you're able to like cut another door in it somehow. So it has two entrances that makes them feel a lot safer. It makes them use the area a lot more. Um, and then you can add like a memory foam mat in there, make it all nice and cozy and it would be a nice giant hidey house for them. I think they'd really like that. For the litter box, I would recommend again to larger litter boxes just because uh, rabbits do like a lot more room um, and those litter boxes do look a little bit on the smaller side. Um, so that would be one recommendation. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's really great. I love your little corner hidey house thing. I don't know what that is from, but it's super adorable. So I think that's cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall your rabbits look adorable and your setup is really great. So this next setup is super cute. And I am really hoping this is like a real setup because I did get some like submissions from people who literally were just like sending in fake photos. And I know they're fake because they were around like 10 years ago. And I know these people did not have rabbits 10 years ago. So anyways, like I, they were just like Google pictures that I got sent. So I really hope this is actually your setup because this is awesome. I don't know what this material is. I don't know if it's like fleece on the floor, that pink thing. It's super cute. I don't know what it is, but if it's fleece or something, um, super adorable. And I think it like looks like everything just looks so cute and like aesthetic. I don't know how to say that, but um, she's got like these little castle things, this little, another little castle thing. She's got, I think that's an Ikea doll bed. Um, super, super cute. Um, so I love this setup, super adorable. Honestly, the only thing I would change is, uh, she did say the litter box is inside the Toki house, which, um, I think she, she has two bunnies and like I said, I recommend having two larger litter boxes and the litter box that could fit in there definitely isn't big enough in my opinion. Um, so what I would do is I would remove the litter box from that it, from that thing and I would just turn that into a big hidey house. Um, you know, put something soft on the bottom um, and they can just sleep, chill out in there and then they can have a really nice big litter box set up with, you know, hay and all the fun fancy stuff um, but other than that that's literally the only thing I would change I think your setup is adorable your rabbits are adorable um, and yeah and she did mention the cord that's in there is buddy proofed um, in case you guys were wondering but uh, a warning about that I have had rabbits chew through cord protectors but I also know a lot of rabbits who don't, so um, just because mine have doesn't mean yours will. <laughs> but just keep an eye on that. I've had my rabbits literally rip through those things. And if they start doing that, I think you can buy like metal cord protectors that can screw onto the wall. So if that does become an issue, you could do that. Um, but honestly, everything else is great. And I think your setup is really cute. This next setup is a three-year-old rabbit. Uh, Mochi and she's currently looking for another rabbit to bond with him through a rabbit rescue in her area 
It's an eight by eight foot area. He free roams several times a day. So first of all, great setup, really nice big area. It looks like it must be like a, I don't know, either like a really large closet or maybe a spare bedroom, probably a spare bedroom. Um, either way, super nice area. The one thing right off the bat is the litter box does look pretty small. And like I mentioned, I like my nice large litter boxes. So you can, although I don't think she's in America, so um, in America, the storage totes are really cheap, but I don't know what it's like in other countries. So I would get one of those for your bunny. That would be um, a super great addition. And then if you do end up bonding your rabbit to another bunny, I would get a second one as well in the future. Uh, but otherwise you have a mini haven in there for a hideout. That's really great. Um, it looks like you have an old pet store cage that just has his food in it. Um, I would recommend if your rabbit's three years old to remove pellets from his diet. Um, obviously, if there's a medical reason why he's on pellets, um, obviously always follow your veterinarian's advice. But if there's no medical reasons going on, most medical reasons for keeping pellets is if your rabbit struggles with weight loss. Um, but if your rabbit is a healthy rabbit, I would remove the pellets. Um, pellets can actually have some side effects and some things that can be harmful if you want to learn more about it you can watch my rabbit diet video another thing i would maybe do is instead of having just you know the cage in there with the food and water obviously remove the food or move the water as well and see if you can like add another entrance to that and you can cover it with a blanket and make that into a large hidey house um that's a really good idea otherwise you know what if you are in another country and you struggle finding like large tor storage totes or they're really expensive where you live, I would just take the top off of that small pet cage and turn that into a litter box. That is definitely large enough for a nice litter box and honestly it's perfect size. So that would actually be a good thing because that would be free because you already have it. Honestly, he's got a lot of toys. He's got a lot of hideouts. Oh, you have a Toki castle. That's so cute. I love those. Honestly, that's the only changes I would make to be honest, um, is just, you know, turn that cage into a litter box and uh, remove the pellets if medically okay. And yeah, that's honestly all I have to say about that. So next bunny habitat is by two bunnies, Cody and LB. They have their own Instagram, which I will link. Uh, they just turned one, they've been bonded since November, and they're free roam between their own bunny room and then also her bedroom. So they have this super cute bunny castle, which is adorable, I love that. Um, I really wanna build one of these for my bunnies or have my dad build one, <laughs> cause I don't really know how. They have a little Ikea doll bed. Actually, I think they have two of them. And then some cardboard hideouts. There's this Ikea thing that a lot of people in other countries have for their bunnies and it's not available in the US, um, sadly. And I don't know what it's called, um, but a lot of people put their litter boxes in it. I personally would recommend not putting a litter box in there just because, especially since you have two bunnies, it'd be better to have two large litter boxes. Um, like I've mentioned in every single one of these videos, you guys are probably like, we get it, stop talking about it. I do wanna say I have a very strong passion for litter boxes with rabbits, but even a stronger one for litter boxes with cats. So if you guys wanna hear all about my ramblings about appropriate litter boxes for cats, Follow my cat's Instagram right here um, down below as well. I um, kind of go a little bit nerdy over it and it's fun. So I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. Anyways, um, moving along, I would recommend getting two storage totes um, and using that for your bunny's litter boxes. I also noticed that you're using I had like a ton of submissions. Like I would say half of my submissions had litter boxes with, I don't know what you call it, like dog pee pads in it. And I have no idea why so many people use them. Um, I would strongly recommend not using them. They have a lot of um, unsafe materials inside of like puppy pee pads and stuff. And if your rabbit was to ever chew that, it would not be safe whatsoever. Um, it could cause potential blockage since there is plastic on it as well if they were to eat a lot of it. Um, and even if your rabbit hasn't ever eaten it, um, you know, there's always the possibility they could. So I've had like toys in my rabbit's room or like hay baskets that have been in there for like four months. 
Rabbits literally didn't touch it. One day I woke up the next morning they had literally eaten the entire thing overnight. It's like they won't touch it for however long and then they get bored and they just destroy it. So even though they haven't done it yet, you know, there is always the possibility of doing it in the future. It's the same thing that, which is why we don't, you know, recommend giving rabbits cat litter, clumping cat litter. Just because they haven't eaten it yet doesn't mean they won't in the future. And if they do eat it, you know, the clumping mechanisms can really cause a lot of damage. Um, so for that reason, I just don't ever recommend anything that could be potentially dangerous in a rabbit's habitat. Um, so I wouldn't use pee pads for that reason. Um, you know, there's just too many dangers in my opinion. Also, um, if you're worried about, you know, it sticking to the bottom of the litter box or being harder to clean, uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a video on how I clean my rabbit's litter boxes. Um, Cause maybe people are, doing it wrong or something and think it's difficult. I don't know, maybe I have some tips I could share, um, but I would really recommend, uh, it looks like you use pine pellets, which is great. Keep using the pine pellets on the bottom, but then add one to two uh, inches of Carefresh on top. I personally recommend doing this for every rabbit. Um, it's the hot, the pine pellets are really hard on a rabbit's hocks and rabbits spend a lot of time in their litter boxes because that's where their hay is. And rabbits eat 90% of their diet as hay. So they're spending a lot of time standing on those hard pine pellets. Um, so if you have two inches, one to two inches of Carefresh on top, that's gonna really help their hocks a lot and take a lot of pressure off of that, uh, be a lot more comfortable. But the best thing is that it helps a ton with odor control and it also helps a ton with absorbency. So even though pine pellets are actually really great for absorbing urine and liquids, uh, they actually aren't amazing at it. I was having a lot of issues with my rabbits. Like it wasn't, like the litter wasn't even old yet, but it was still like not absorbing the urine. And I was seeing urine just collect on the bottom of the litter box. Uh, which obviously isn't good. Um, but ever since I've added two inches of Carefresh on top of my rabbit's litter, I've never had that issue as long as I'm cleaning it, you know, when it should be cleaned. And personally, with my nice big litter boxes, uh, people always ask me how often I clean them. I would say maybe once a week. It's probably a little bit less than once a week, um, but because I have two giant litter boxes, it takes a lot longer for the litter to get old, um, especially if you're mixing it up halfway through the week. Um, honestly, you can use them for a lot longer than with litter, little litter boxes. So let me know if you guys want a video on how I clean my litter boxes. I don't know, maybe people would find that helpful, maybe not. <laughs> um, but anyways, that would be my recommendation. Um, remove the pee pad, get two large um, litter boxes, and then turn that Ikea thing that I don't remember the name of into a giant hidey house. I think that would be perfect. And if you wanted to make it more cozy, you could add a little blanket on some of the sides if you feel like there's too many holes for a hidey house. Um, but you could add another door in the side and there'd be two entrances and that would be perfect. Like, honestly, I think my rabbits would absolutely love that thing as a hidey house. And I actually looked into getting one, but you have to pay so much to have one of those shipped to America and it just wasn't worth it. So I never ended up doing that, but they're super cute. So if you're in another country, I think they'd make awesome um, hidey houses. I don't personally know what type of wood they're made out of, so definitely make sure they're like safe wood material. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. But other than that, your setup is great. Love your castles. Your bunnies are adorable. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed and found it useful. Again, do not take this, any of this as hate or anything like that. I've had a lot of setups that have not been the greatest for my rabbits and I fully admit it, even like five years ago. There, there was a lot of things I did that I didn't know weren't the greatest for bunnies. Um, and none of it was like bad or like the rabbits were gonna die because of it, but it just wasn't tapping into that really enriching environment that a rabbit can have. And so that's kind of what I really want my channel to be, especially in the last couple of years, is just showing how much you can enrich your rabbit's life by just making a couple of changes. Um, and that's really all this video was about. And I hope even if I didn't review your rabbit's setup, um, that you were able to take the advice that I gave other people and apply it to your rabbit's habitats as well. And yeah, honestly, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my online shop 
for a couple of the recommendations that I gave in this video, like the mini havens, the grass mats, the willow, things like that, can all be purchased on my shop. We do have a new thing that if you are overseas, so I believe if you're not in Mexico, America, or Canada, you do have to email us before you make an order. Uh, just because we were having a lot of errors, like shipping errors, with doing it with the automatic website thing. So we have to make kind of custom orders now if you are overseas. So just wanted to put that out there. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye.